Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel where we talk about the things we love like gaming, shows, and anime. After cherishing the Dragon Ball series for so many years, I think it's time we showed a tribute to some of the best characters in the series. And today we will begin by showing the best moments of the main character, Goku. But before we begin, I'd like to give a shout out to my fellow Scorpions out there, Comic Juice, Ultra Dragon 16, Jonathan Sawatari, Broken Steel 47, Shane Downey, MJJDBZ173, Viper Froz, Emperor D. Matthias, Zay Ramos, Mystic Galeg, Comics91, Renuel LeBlanc, Lee Miller, Dizzy D, and Professor Peculiar. Thank you all so much for your support and for tuning into my channel. I hope to keep you all entertained for always and eternity. Now, let's begin. Number 10, Goku vs. Angela and Medamacha. This is one of those moments when the main villain's crew tries to take on the toughest Z fighter and makes little to no results on hurting Goku. These are the moments we love that Goku has finally appeared because we get to see those who beat the crap out of everyone else get put in their place. And these two definitely got their shit kicked with little to no effort by Goku. And the way he finishes them off, priceless. Number 9, Goku vs. The Crusher Corpse. This is another moment like the previous one where Goku takes on the main villain's crew and defeats them all with, again, little to no effort. Such because these guys didn't seem to look like they were easily defeating the Z Fighters, but I guess even though they did lose, I like that Goku killed them all with just one hit. This was a 5 hit combo and a deadly one since that's all it took to make them all croak. I understand getting killed with a super strong punch or kick, but a kick to the gut? Man, for being the second in command of the crew, you're pretty damn weak bro. Number 8, Goku punches Bojack. This was only for a brief moment, but it was all that it took for Goku to once again shine and save the day. I mean, sure, he wasn't the one who defeated Bojack and his crew, but Gohan wouldn't transform into Super Saiyan 2 no matter what happened to everyone else. All it took was Goku making a brief appearance to claw Bojack in the face for Gohan to finally get his shit straight and buck up. I do like that Gohan defeated them, but let's face it, if it wasn't for Goku, Gohan would have died. Number 7. Goku appears from the heavens. Now, just like the previous one, Gohan was in trouble and he could not handle the situation without his father. But even though Goku only appeared to lend his support with the Kamehameha, we all gotta admit it that it was pretty badass seeing that Goten says in his mind that he wishes his dad was there and all of a sudden Goku appears from the heavens and comes down next to Gohan and Goten, looks at Broly, gives him that pissed off look and goes Super Saiyan and then fires off his Kamehameha. Broly definitely didn't see that one coming. Number 6. Goku blocks Trunks' sword with one finger. When Frieza and King Cold first arrived on Earth, we weren't expecting for a future Trunks to appear and save the day, and Trunks demonstrated to us that he could easily kill off both Frieza and King Cold, so we were all wondering if Goku was no longer the strong Saiyan. Up until he arrived and Trunks wanted to see Goku's strength for himself. I know I wasn't the only one surprised to see Goku use only one finger to easily block every attack that Trunks performed with his sword. The same sword that easily sliced up Frieza into pieces. That's all it takes to make Goku show everyone how strong he truly is. In fact, as soon as I saw that, I said, well, we definitely don't need this new guy anymore. You can go home now, kid. Number 5. Goku's Victory Against Frieza when Frieza was taking on Gohan, Krillin, Vegeta, and Piccolo for many episodes, and in the end even killing off Krillin and Vegeta, almost Piccolo, we all felt like there was no stopping this guy. Frieza was just too strong and at his fourth form he was, he was not going to be defeated easily, and even the spirit bomb failed. But then it happened. We got our first dose on Cena Super Saiyan for the first time, and it was epic. I couldn't believe what just happened. I mean, a minute ago, Frieza appeared revealing that he is still alive, quickly kills Krillin and injures Piccolo, leaving him close to dead. 
And then all of a sudden Goku goes Super Saiyan? Definitely not at all what we were all expecting. And in the end, after a long fight against Frieza, Goku defeated the Tyrant, bringing peace to everyone once again. Number 4. Goku vs. Rikum, Jis, and Berter Now even though Frieza was a big challenge to Goku and is clearly a bigger threat than the Ginyu Force, I'm putting this one ahead of Goku's victory against Frieza because this is about the top 10 best moments of Goku and you gotta admit that after seeing Rikum easily dominate Vegeta, Krillin, and Gohan, we were all so happy to see Goku finally arrive on Namek. I mean, the moment Rikum was about to kill Gohan, Krillin, and Vegeta, all of a sudden you see a spaceship with a Capsule Corp emblem on it, and you know you got super excited and ready to see Goku kick their asses. It was a breath of fresh air. Number 3. Goku's Sacrifice Goku had already sacrificed himself by holding down Raditz and have Piccolo use his special beam cannon to take him down to save the Earth. But that was necessary for Goku to increase his strength and become stronger, strong enough to defend Earth against the next upcoming Saiyans. Now, it wasn't expecting to see him die right away in the beginning of the series, but it was a whole lot more surprising when it happened against Cell. We all thought that finally, now that Gohan has gone Super Saiyan 2, that he would easily kill off Cell, especially because he was kicking his ass. And Cell was trying everything he could to defeat Gohan, but everything he tried would not leave a scratch on him, so of course, we didn't expect Cell to whip out a special move that could kill them all, and there'd be nothing they could do to stop him. But as always, even though Gohan was the stronger one, Goku came to the rescue and decided to sacrifice himself to save Earth. It was a very emotional moment, very unexpected, and once again, Goku saved the Earth in the bravest way possible. Number 2. Goku does the one-inch punch on Frieza. Now, out of all the epic moments Goku has portrayed so far, I gotta give this one number 2 on the list. Goku performing something epic was starting to become a little less epic throughout the years, as most of his previous moves would put an end to the threat, such as the Spirit Bomb. But this was completely unexpected. Now, I'm a huge Bruce Lee fan, and if, if it wasn't for Bruce Lee, I would have never learned Jeet Kune Do, Nunchaku, or any counter moves that have potentially increased my skills in martial arts. I know I would eventually get into martial arts and learn Taekwondo, Muay Thai, and a few more, but Bruce Lee was my inspiration. And to see one of my favorite characters on my favorite series perform Bruce Lee's signature one-inch punch? Fucking amazing! I clearly did not expect it and it surprised the shit out of me when I saw Goku perform it against Golden Frieza. I can't wait to play as Goku in the new game and have the ability to perform this move. Number 1. Goku Saves Gohan Now this one is similar to the previous ones and of course this happens lots of times where everyone is losing against the main villain and his crew but this was the most epic one of all. Again, sure it happened with the Ginyu Force, and they were all a bigger threat, and it happened again with Frieza, as he's an even bigger threat, but here, they built it up so high, we weren't sure when Goku was going to arrive. I mean, how many Z Fighters died for Goku to finally arrive? I sure as hell wasn't expecting Piccolo to die, and I was sure that Gohan was going to be the next one. I was already picturing it. Goku was going to arrive and see his dead son, but instead, we got a major sign of relief. But the way they pulled it off was amazing! Think about it! Gohan gave it his best shot against Nappa for killing Piccolo, he was ready to die since all hope was pretty much lost, Nappa was about to crush Gohan, he slams his foot down and Gohan has disappeared, we all look around and wonder what the hell just happened, Nappa and everyone else is wondering what the hell just happened. We then hear the Nimbus Cloud and see Gohan on it, and then we all look up and see Goku above them all pissed off and ready to fuck shit up. That was the most epic moment I ever saw in the series. Till today, whenever I see that scene, I get a fucking teardrop in my eyes because of how epic it is. There is no better moment that will ever replace this for me and I just couldn't wait to see Nappa get his ass kicked. Well, that's it for the top 10 list. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, put a thumbs up. And if there are any other videos you would love to request, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you want a shout out, a video request, or you want to ask a question for the next Q&A video, 
I strongly recommend you post it on my Facebook page. And if you want to see more of my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button, because it really helps me out a lot. And I'll be sure to let you know when I post up more videos. This is Score, saying have an awesome day.